That said, Sainé does a pretty good job of stymieing Mika and Yurina both, I think. Uh, so, good chance Sainé gets banned on uh, Black Raids. I call him Black Razor, but Black RSVP is side. And, uh, Snorbert. Okay, they both ban Karuna. No mirror matches here today. Nice. Class is decent, these attacks are good. Yeah, we'll see. It's gonna come down to range mostly. Right. Oh, Snorbert took smoke. <laughs> I'm sure you have strong thoughts about that card. I don't think it does anything in this matchup. It will prevent your opponent from reacting to get further away, which is what um, you want. Because <laughs> all the sign is no, reactions are to, to get closer, to get closer. So it stops outclass from moving forward. That's all it does. Yeah. I guess it's also a card that you can play at any range to help you trigger Inferno. But at that point, I'd probably be taking like the arena enhancement if that's what you're after. Yeah. Any card that does something is better than a card that does nothing. Oh, have you know it did me good when I played in Shadow League? Yeah, but what was your matchup? Uh, I think I was playing against Ryra. Yeah, Ryra has a powerful move forward card and yeah. another potentially okay move forward card. I don't think I've ever seen Pounce also, to move forward though. So Also Hakane as well. And um Oh yeah. He, he... <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But you weren't playing against them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Who knew that Sakura Arms deck building could be subjective to what your opponent is playing? Alright, it's getting barraged. This is probably probably the only time this gets played this game, but we'll see. With Sina, you might be able to get something going. the anti-range lock card. Actually be okay if it was like the only Himika card you brought and you the rest were your arena cards. You were mm, expecting yeah. them to try and range lock you, but I I believe that was actually the um pretty much the uh AEG recommended starting deck. That's going back a while now.
you only lose one aura to do the silent approach, so that might actually be fine here. You'd actually silent approach, take off both your aura, step up one, and then swing rush. Swing rush and then uh, kunai throw after that. Okay, choosing to just pull from Shadow and conserve Aura. That's more conservative and not necessarily bad, so. I guess um, Black RZV doesn't really know how deep Snorbert has gone into Himika yet. True. You could be diving forward into a bunch of Urena attacks, but the nice thing about this card is that if you do get hit by an attack, like you go forward and then Urena slashes you, then you're instantly two spaces backwards. As long as you take that attack to life. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Swing Rush is not terribly strong here, but I still think it's... Whoa, okay, never mind. <laughs> Alright, this is actually the correct thing to do here anyway, because Miss Bane's online. And will and resurge the... this turn. At the point, you've got Chikage. You'd like to think that there's going to be Miss Bane there, 100%. You have to play around it anyway. Like Until you know for sure, you're basically one less aura, because taking a 1-2 to life is a terrible trade. I think not sure to move forward more. I think that might be a costly mistake here on like RZV's part. But oh, then again, of... nope, he doesn't have idea for outclass either, so his position would be 100% better here if he had taken one more token from his aura to that enhancement. Mm. Well, I say 100% better, but if, he, if uh, Snorbert plays around He can just reaction... play three, three aura attacks, right? Well, he backsteps out more. Then he's kind of safe from outclass. At least with Magnum. And then that disenchants, uh, or rather, it, it breaks this without disenchanting it. Which puts you into even better attack ranges, so you could keep blasting. Yeah, what I'm saying is he can backstep, um, and then he can do shoot, which uh, you don't play that yet, you play it last, so you'll play um, Magnum first, which is 3 2, which then he, they can't take that to Aura. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you uh, I guess, has he got, well, you haven't got Reading Crystal in hand, so yeah, you do Magnum first, he can't take that to Aura, then you play Quick Shot, which is now 3 2, which he can't take to Aura. It's definitely uh, costly to play Backstep here, though, because you have no cards in your deck, so you're basically using Backstep as a backward movement. But uh, it, it does give you the Inferno trigger, which is worthy. Yeah. Snorbet spent his uh, Vigor to go, just go backward. Yep, playing around Outclass, which, like, doesn't isn't online right now anyway. Um, I don't know if there was any reaction that could have been made by a black RZV that would get rid of that. Yeah, black RZV probably questioning it whether it's in range or not. And now this comes off. Is that? Oh wait, wait, wait. Range ten. What? Yeah. No, yeah, no, there wasn't range. It's decreasing. They the were, they were at range six. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. And this goes into the discard pile, actually. Alright. Oh, it's face down. I thought it goes into the plate pile. Okay, that's interesting. So if you're playing like somebody who needs to face up cards like Karuru or somebody, or Obro when you want to... Yeah, it's interesting with Obro in particular because if you use the Revitalize, it's a trap. So it'll always be in your discard pile if it keeps getting broken. Ah. Uh, I keep saying I should revisit Obro. <laughs> no. Uh, 
about the, what does black RZV get next turn? He'll draw probably Miasma. And I think the last one he's got is Wavering Crystal or possibly Concealment. So he's probably not going to be doing that much the following turn. Shoot to un lock your opponent. And quick shot to give them more flare. This is where you play your... What you call it? In the field. No, 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 no. Silent Icebreaker. Kind of bail yourself out. Take one life damage. Wait, why silent icebreaker and not class? And not what? Outclass? Outclass. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, outclass would have dodged that because that's only six to eight. That's a mistake that I might have made too. Yeah, we're back to range ten. <laughs> <sighs> Yeah, they probably forgot about about outclass in their hand because they realized they couldn't play it at the start of their turn and didn't realize that that condition had changed. That's my suspicion. It's difficult when you're on the the big screen playing in front of people watching you. You know, you got a lot of thoughts going through your head because you you're trying to play to win. And I know it's a very friendly tournament, but still, you your mindset is you know this game matters. It's very easy to overlook things like that. Very serious competitive format. How dare you besmirch it? <laughs> I'll have you know, every single game I played in the tournament has been really friendly and fun. <laughs> as long as it's not against purple. That's when the trash talk comes out. Back here, our, back our I CV here just doing any doing of the poisons are a good choice. Yasimika is going to take a uh, passive turn next turn, which is basically do nothing and pass. Yeah, numbing so, relax is probably the worst one. Right. Uh, any of these poisons... Well, I guess the Flare to Shadow is probably the best one. But then Himika can just spend it for her... What's it called? Vermilion Field and then play it. Mm. For this muscle relaxant though, you can just play it out next turn and then okay. yeah, actually does it? I know because it means three, it's three, two, one, follow up zero. Yes, yeah, so it means two mm. turns of wastage from Himika basically. Well, if you play it the turn you're going off, you can play it at the end after you've made your attacks. Mm. But true. But then it uh, stops. It means if you're keeping it around in hand now, then that's one less card to keep around for the following turn. And we all know. So then, this way instead, it will force Himika to play out her hand or discard a card. Mm -hmm. All right. Forget everything I just said. It <laughs> could be worth it, depending on what Himika draws next. Do you think this special ever resurges without Silent Wall? Matchup? No. Yeah. Unless you can get very close, but even then you're probably going to be at high aura, so. You just spend everything you've got to run forwards as Black Aura ZV. I think so. At least he has got the um, Chicago enhancement to dump his aura out to not get aura locked. Uh, silent approach. Yep, that, and that will also, also help him with his range. Yeah, absolutely. Very good card in this match. 
Well, at least with Himika being the dominant presence. I still feel like the Miasma would have been better as an advanced action. Possibly, yeah. Oh, okay. All right, for Cindy, uh, Icebreaker Research. And that puts momentum back up. Uh, not momentum. I'll keep calling it that forever. It's Commentator's Curse Outclass. The last game I was commentating on, I kept calling it Momentum, and the bot commands channel was full of people looking for this card called Momentum because nobody had any idea what I was on about. Yeah, good. It's a uh, level 99 player curse. And you just get rid of the muscle relaxant here. Oh. Hmm. You could take two life damage here if he plays uh, both his specials next turn. Aggressive Icebreaker with uh, this main. Backwards movement is slightly questionable there. Could have Uke Funade, right? Only two flare, I believe. Or is it three? Two. Here you just dump your hand to move forward, probably. Yeah, you can throw out a Miss Bane just as a 1 2. Because it resurges anyway, and you've got Aura or Flare stacking up. But Our black specials. Oh. Mm. Now, do you do Icebreaker to try and land a Miss Bane? Aggressive Icebreaker. I would probably do it. Yeah, if but... that's your special selection, you should probably do it. At the very least, you throw out a Miss Bane here to make it harder for the for Snorbert to move back, but... Unless you really want to bluff that you have some card. And that was the uh, poison special for the last one, right? This pain? Uh, uh, no, uh, the one that gives. Yeah. Uh, no, he doesn't have that. He oh. has icebreaker, final stage, and this pain. Oh, when are you going to use final stage though? Never. You'd use it to stuff Sugikage. This is probably the only time you'd use it. Match. Yeah. I just don't think Mika can really play Sugikage. I think you could... I think there's an argument for it. Well, I mean, 
if you're playing Kimika Urena at Urena range, you're probably still taking the one normal card, the Magnum Cannon, that makes you lose a life, because that's the easiest one to play besides shoot. And yeah, or maybe Barrage. Shoot, shoot barrage is me. questionable. It's very matchup dependent. But you, the fact yeah. that you can backdraft Tsukikage, I think, is kind of Okay, gross. that's fair. That, that is fair. I just don't know where, if you can get the flare. Super alive. Oh, well, that's kind of nifty, isn't it? Max value. It would be 30. even better if you could use this as an Inferno trigger for something, but... Mm. Well, it is an Inferno trigger now. That's oh, cool. there's the smoke. And now you have what you do. Focus, focus, for mill. <laughs> no? Does smoke do anything in this matchup? It, it prevents that class from moving forward. Yeah. That's it. Because it, do, it doesn't stop a Chicago Enhanced that moves forward, too. Yeah, Silent Approach that... is not bothered by it. Yeah. It gets rid of shadow, so your opponent can't play enhancements comfortably. <laughs> so your opponent is sad when they are Utsuro. Also true. Shuts down the dash 2 if they're Utsuro. You could land a swing rush here if you really wanted. Is it good though? Is it strong enough? So you could discard your entire hand to go forward for a swing rush, or you could just yeah, it's totally worth it because swing rush advance one the aura, and then you can hit with Miss Bane, and it refreshes. Yeah, no, I think I think that's definitely the move if they see it. Do you so guys far. think Fading Light is a better take? I feel like Fading Light is great against Teamika because you stall her out a turn. Yeah, it's and probably she, worth it. She reshuffles while. so much. <laughs> I really like Ruinous Soul Toxin, but I also kind of feel like it's vaguely a trap card. I think it's a trap card unless you're playing against Rushdown. But when you're playing against Himika or Rush Ryra, it, I guess not Ryra, because Ryra will just charge off of it. But It's also like vaguely good in control matches, right? Because you limit their ability to hold reactions without burning their aura off. But then they usually wait till they have responded on their turn and their aura is already gone to play it or something like that. Yeah, or... The, the, the funnest part is when you're playing Kududu and you use Mojudu to actually go from zero aura to one aura. So not pulling Ooh. any tokens from aura deliberately by the look of it. I pulled two. Okay. Right, that's the minimum he had to. Okay. There was no way he could pull enough to be able to do an idea swing rush here, right? I think no. if he wants to, right? There was no way of doing that. Because you could play the other enhanced to pull one more. Yeah, but you're, then you you're don't stuck have the in the range. To get in range. Oh. So if you wanted to preserve your own aura, which you probably don't in this. Could have used one of your specials to scrape their aura off too, but yeah. But if you do it afterwards, you get that benefit. Not at all.
This is where Snorbert takes um, Amorphous Miss Bane to life because he really wants to Vermilion Field again. I have played him a lot recently and he does that far more than he perhaps should. As his coach, I am proud. Yeah. The life damage thing is always just, well, maybe not always, but it's usually a question of what kind of a trade are you getting for your life? What do you have the if it was have letting you, If it was letting you next turn Tsukikage, you know, that's when you take it to life. Otherwise, yeah. no. There's, there, there's definitely a, a drawing factor when you're Yurina and being tempted to take life damage that you otherwise would never do. <laughs> they must pass the turn. I think a uh, big golem has that too. When you're playing a big golem deck, you're like, oh, I can lose life. I won't lose any more for reshuffling. So it's fine to take a life damage. But that is absolutely how you lose every game you play big golem. Is taking extra life damage to try and get it going faster. Mm -hmm. Oh boy, here's the Himika combo. Play Barrage, discard a card, pass. No, Barrage gets uh, Icebreaker. That's, that's just sad. Ah. <laughs> Alright then. So Barrage gets Icebreaker and it's just sad. Yeah, that gets Icebreaker and you're sad. Surely, surely this gets Icebreaker. Black's hand is over Wavering Crystal. I know. Yeah, but if you Wavering <laughs> Crystal, right, you get to add a distance and make Himika happy. <laughs> so you gotta play the Wavering Crystal. There you go. All right, wow, was that the preemptive copy of Icebreaker? That was, that was the, I expect Icebreaker to come out. I want to know it exists. That was a balls play. No, he's seen it already. Yeah, he's seen it. Oh, he's seen it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, Icebreaker came out for a quick shot once this game. So then why was Barrage? That's a good question. I guess you, you, it's kind of like you're doing two aura, two player damage. And taking That's one a terrible damage. Trait. <laughs> Especially when you got to discard a card, one of your attack cards. Yeah. Like well, Barrage is there for you your quiet the, turn. You get the five card reshuffle, though. You're underestimating the power of that. The smaller deck is good. Mm. Yeah. Well, oh, yeah. it would be, but you're redrawing into Smoke and Barrage, so. You know, I like, um, I like Shadow League games. They really help you to appreciate the unexpected. Really, you're better off if you play the smoke right before you reshuffle. Just make your deck smaller. Only draw those important cards. Yeah, I, I hope everyone takes my commentary with the knowledge that I do the stupidest things in my games. <laughs> like play Wallow for no reason because I want to do two aura damage. Yeah, that was a fun game. Or try to black box with zero flare. Yeah. Look, to, to be fair, Black Box should cost zero flare. It costed zero flare for most of its existence as a card. Then the Fire Nation came. And then, then Thalia Ryra. With, then flinching was invented, which suddenly made Black Box a lot better. <laughs> mm. Right, because uh, Yaksha didn't used to flinch. So, because flinching wasn't a thing. Would it have been better to... Oh, you don't have range for Kunai yet. I played to Kunai first there. I guess going back to last time, possibly Snorbert was thinking about Mirage getting rid of the enhancement. Because it would be life damage. True. And then just forgetting right. about uh, Sun and Icebreaker. I mean, I think forgetting about Sun and Icebreaker is the other thing. You can also get rid of it just by blowing them up with your handful of attacks.
Yeah, actually, because if you did shoot, shoot, if they took shoot to aura, they would have to take magnum cannon to life, and then you'd be at the perfect distance for rapid fire. So maybe tunnel vision on the enhancement, but not. Uh, yeah. Thing is, is most games barrage gets played once for good reason. It's very rare that it comes up in the right order if you just play it on like Himika's downturn. Mm -hmm. So yeah, uh, having having an opportunity to play barrage does kind of feel golden. So it's having caught this game to like at least fifty to sixty people over the years, mm -hmm. it is depressing how often I like run into a player who's desperately trying to play barrage and loses <laughs> games because of that because they're just trying to. Like, well, I can't play it this turn, so if I back up to five distance and end my turn, I can do it next turn. And they just keep no. de depriving themselves of resources. Okay, so we're getting yeah, more life damage this turn. No, we're not, because yeah, we're going to put Burn on the online. After the next hit of swing rush. But uh, is there an army worth it for one life damage? Probably not, so this is good attack order. However, you're going to get absolutely annihilated this turn, right? Oh yes, that's four life damage on the table as we speak. And you don't have a flare to use your... You do get Icebreaker back, though. Yeah, you don't have the flare for it until you take an attack first, but... Yeah, but that's fine, because... Actually, if Himika doesn't draw shoot, then it's not lethal, right? Yeah, and there's a pretty good chance of not drawing shoot. Max step can help a little bit because it's the second card draw, so it's not quite as risky as it would be for most others. That's but still, he's still gambling. I guess the only thing that Snorbert is thinking about here is whether he wants to play... Um, Uranami Storm as a response, so he can take for life on the first one and Uranami the second. Oh, but there's actually a whole another concern in here. Because um, if Icebreaker hits next turn, it's very likely to hit life, right? Um, potentially, but he's going to reshuffle, which will resurge Ukifune. Okay, that's fair. But not if you do. Actually, on. this this swing rush is gonna resurge Yuki Fune. Yeah, there's no way you are an here because that's only saving you one life. Yeah, and if you do, you can't Yuki Fune. Uh oh, someone died in game room one. Oh, they're back. Just the voice channel was acting up in Discord. Oh, sorry. That means he's definitely thinking about Tsukikage, and not Tsukikage, or an army. If he does that, he won't be able to afford Ukifuni Serene. They were asking me a question and I didn't realize it. <laughs> <laughs> the little message popped to have me before we're talking. That's all your, your fault. It's you guys' fault, it's not my fault. Okay, so we're earning for one aura damage and one life preserved. No, we're not. We decided that was a bad idea.
Okay, so now you reshuffle and redraw Barrage and Smoke and Cry. Or in a very cruel turn of events, you draw Shoot, play Shoot first, and then realize you can't play Magnum Cannon. You can play Magnum well, Cannon if it's lethal. That would be uh, the great one, wouldn't it? Snowball going, yeah. So I start off with Magnum Cannon. Okay, oh, Snow Barrage, we did get smoke. <laughs> okay, we now can easily get... Crying. But it's not lethal. And... So, just Uge Fune here. And then we have Ernami to back us up. So we have, you'd have to discard... And play Wait, muscle relax. That's only one card left. Right? In the deck? Yeah, no. Missing the exact card you need. Actually, you could. Mm, you can't Magnum Cannon. You oh, got yeah. at best two life damage, and that's it. Yeah. You this got, is when you discard you've... all your cards and you play Sukikage and win. <laughs> When you play, play your backdraft Sukikage at range 8. Six. <laughs> I don't think there's a backdraft in this deck, so... No. There's also not a Sukikage. Oh, there's not? No. Oh. It's um, Vermilion Field, um, Uranami Storm, and oh, Ukifune okay. Serene. I don't know why I thought there was a Sukikage. I guess I was over my... You know, place. if you had Sukikage, you actually could advance four, focus two, land yeah, Sukikage yeah. for the win. Yeah. So the lesson hard. here is that you should bring Sukikage to every single match. I have I have been trying to coach Solbert about things like this. He is not he doesn't believe me yet. Maybe after watching this video when it goes up, he might revise his opinion. Oh, even if he did drew shoot, it wouldn't be lethal. Because that would be five life damage, you would icebreaker one to turn it into four, but then, then you reach. die yourself to Magnum. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. So where Like since it relies is it on the reshuffle. Card, or is this just not stacked correctly? Where is shoot? You... It's in his deck. Where is Barrage? Deck. In his deck. So this is more There's than two cards card. left. Oh, that's, that's what's throwing me off. Okay, this, when you have this open, you can't see the cards. Yep. Oh, that's why, I'm, that's why I miscounted, because he's got a poison card. Duh, that doesn't count as one of your seven. <sighs> who who would have known? Yeah, so even if he did draw shoot, it wasn't lethal. So you went for the reshuffle, but you have to discard down to only one card saved here. Um, yeah, if you wait for the reshuffle, then black card Z is just going to get to five aura and... Ironically, well, four having aura. Bon Barrage would have been actually okay here. But you can, you can Uranami and follow that up, potentially. But, but they could also just wait for you to die to reshuffle at that point. They just bunker. Okay, so this gives you the Inferno trigger for the 3-2 on Quick Shot. And then you're still at one card for next turn. Yep. And you keep putting it here, right? You can play Vermilion Field just as an Inferno activator, but that doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. Let's just shoot and Magnum next turn. Still might be a win for Snowbert. Snowbert. If Black Cars if he doesn't see that he can just stall it out. Uh, yeah, I mean I, I guess if you if you play no attacks. If he just bunkers this turn, then you play barrage next turn, right? Yeah, and barrage. You won't be the barrage. Yeah. And then, then die to reshuffle. No, then you or, take aura damage from the frustration. 
Yeah, but you'll die to reshuffle because you can't survive a turn of Sine with Swing Rush into Cut Out. Assuming they get into range, yeah. Okay, fair. Oh, what's happening? See, this is how you scam an extra vigor out of your opponent. Spell game. That's actually in the rules for Renry. If you increase your vigor one and your opponent doesn't notice, you get to keep it. That's why she seems so underpowered. Yeah. You got you gotta be stealing that extra vigor every turn. You gotta make sure to uh, do something, take it back, do something, take it back, do two things, take one of the things back, then do a different thing, then take it back, then do another thing, and then say, okay, this is what I want. Meanwhile, you gained your vigor somewhere in there. Here you just discard to four. Or a right. Yeah, probably. Maximum defense, you've got icebreaker. None of your attacks are going to hit. Yeah. Scourge you forward, don't kill yourself on Uranami Storm, and you will win the game. Don't kill yourself on Uranami. Sadly, Choosing to uh, is not something that will happen in Shadow League very often. So you okay. can earn on me this and get killed. Maybe uh, this is still salvageable. No earn on me? Oh my gosh. No, no earn on me. The throws. Um, all right, yeah. Still winnable now. Actually, now you. Oh. Realized. He's realized. Oh. Whip it, that's the wrong thing to earn. Okay. What do you mean? There's nothing else to right. earn on me. Not playing anything. Maybe this is still salvageable. If you discard a now. swing rush, you get to two aura. Then you can take. Can't stop Magnum. You can, you can stop Magnum. Then you can. Yeah, then you can block the shoot with aura and stop the Magnum with. Ah. Uh, uh, Oh. Oh, to an ocean icebreaker. No, yeah, you have, can take do... life. you have to take life from shoot, and then Magnum doesn't get played. Either either solution can... is the same thing. And now, now, but they didn't discard, so now you just lose. Yeah, now right? now you guaranteed lose. I just lose unless barrage comes out. Yeah, playing barrage is absolutely wrong. If you when you know icebreaker. Uh... Like... As they barrage, <laughs> it's still salvageable if they barrage, right? So you play uh, shoot, they take it to life. You play Magnum, they die. And this is probably just a knowledge check. Yeah. They probably don't realize that Magnum can be played to kill, or they think Magnum will be a draw, but it's not. Actually, if Magnum no, no. Icebreaker, you'd lose. So you have to play shoot first. Mm, no. Maybe your opponent doesn't know that Magnum. If Magnum gets ice played for it's lethal. It's two one. Yeah, it's, it, it's uh, two one, they, they and know. then they die from losing the life from. No, that's game's over. 
Yeah. Yeah, yeah. If they play Magnum first before. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you always play shoot first. Absolutely. It just doesn't yeah. matter if they icebreaker it now. Game tells where. All right. So who threw the game harder? <laughs> uh, the disconnect. No GGs. <laughs>